Now, now we begin with the BMW M5. Uh, for the last 25 years, <laughs> it has been the best fast saloon. Um, which is a bit of a problem for BMW every time they want to replace it. As Richard Hammond shall now explain. This is the outgoing M5 in action. And straight away, you can see the problem. It's brilliant. Big 500 horsepower V10 up front. Naturally aspirated. It's just distilled essence of single malt driving pleasure. And that gives BMW a problem much like that faced by the makers of Die Hard 4 or of Cheryl Cole's 2011 calendar. This is a personal analogy, but it works for me. The problem is this. Where to go next? Well, this is where they've gone next. It's the brand new M5. It costs £73,000, and on paper, it sounds like a much tamer beast. For starters, the magnificent V10 has been replaced by a more polar bear-friendly V8. When you're driving along, you can certainly hear it. But then you would, because they've fitted it with a system that pipes a synthesised version of the exhaust note through the stereo. That's kind of cheating, isn't it? And thanks to additions like the seven-speed double-clutch gearbox, this new M5 now weighs 90 kilograms more than the old one. At first glance, then, it seems like the M5's rock and roll days are over. Oh, dear. I seem to have accidentally pulled up alongside the old M5 for what looks like the makings of a drag race. Yeah, there's a man in the white coat and everything. Three, two, one, go! Oh, oh, oh. That's some power. Getting ahead. Yeah, you see, this is probably a good time to tell you more about that V8. It's got two turbos, which gives it 552 brake horsepower. 52 more than the V10. And more torques. A lot more torques. And it's quick! Yeah! And you're worried for a moment then. More firepower in the engine bay is just the first piece of good news. In the old M5, you've got a techno overload of 11 gear shift settings. In the new one, it's a more sensible three. 